Hey guys, it's Cece, and today I am here to do a very exciting video. Today I'm going to be doing something called the A to Z of Queer Lit. This is a video or sort of a challenge idea that originated over on George Lester's channel, so you should go and check that out. When George started this video, he originally called it the A to Z of LGBT, but it has sort of morphed as I've seen it go from person to person and from the different booktubers I watch. For example, Adriana of Perpetual Pages and Joseph of The Boy Who Cried Books have both done this video entitled The A to Z of Queer Lit, and so that is the title I am going to adopt for doing this challenge. Now the challenge of this video is very simple. It is all about talking about recommending 26 books, one for each letter of the alphabet. This letter can appear in either the title or the author's name. The point is just to get 26 queer books. So the first note before we get started is just that this is not my be-all, end-all list of queer books, which I'm sure you all know. I have lots of other LGBTQIA plus book recommendations videos, that this is just a collection of 26. Also, the way I'm doing this recommendations video is very different for me, so I hope you're excited for something that's mixing it up a little bit. All right, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover, so without further ado, let's get into it. Let's talk about 26 books, the A to Z of Queer Lit, starting with the letter A. Okay, everybody. A stands for Anger is a Gift by Mark Oshiro. It is an incredibly diverse book about a group of teens in Oakland, California. They are the poor, the queer, the people of color, the disabled, the people no one will listen to. They're also the ones who are fighting against their school district every day to make sure they aren't treated like prisoners while they're trying to get an education. It is a book about mental health, the power of rage, and the strength that comes from a community coming together. B is for Wild Beauty by Anna Marie Mecklemore. In the beautiful gardens of La Pradera, the Nomovides women hide from their past. They are women accused of witchcraft, now confined to the very gardens they created with their magic. They also all carry a curse that, should any of them fall in love too deeply, the person they love will be taken away. Their lives are thrown into disarray with the appearance of a boy in their garden who has no memory of his past. C stands for The Color Purple by Alice Walker. Beginning in the early 1900s South, Celie and her beloved sister Nellie are raised by their abusive stepfather. Celie is later married off to a much older man who also mistreats her and who sends Nellie away when Celie needs her most. The book chronicles Celie's entire life, learning to find power in herself and in her ability to walk away from the men who have hurt her and into the arms of a woman she loves. D is for Dreadnought by April Daniels. When the superhero Dreadnought dies at Danny's feet, she is suddenly the recipient of incredible superpowers. She is also thrust out of the closet as she gains the body she has always wanted. While struggling to learn how to be a hero and how to deal with the terrifying reality of fighting supervillains, Danny also has to deal with her transphobic family and even transphobia within the superhero world. E is for The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Evelyn Hugo is a mythic figure in Hollywood, a starlet from the golden age who has never spoken out about her past, until she plucks a woman, Monique, from obscurity to finally write the book everyone in the world has always wanted. What are the secrets behind Evelyn's seven husbands? What secrets was she hiding? Why is she choosing to talk now? And why, of all people, has Monique been chosen for this life-altering job? F is for Spellbook of the Lost and Found by Moira Fowley Doyle. In a small Irish town the night after a party, things start to go missing. A hair clip, a necklace, innocuous things, and then the disappearances become more sinister. When a group of teenagers come together and find a spell book that promises to return lost things, they are all shocked to discover the spell has a part for each of them to play. G is for Girls Made of Snow and Glass by Melissa Bouchardust. What if Snow White and her stepmother had been allowed to take their stories back? In this retelling, the fairy tale is turned on its head and forces us to ask how women's stories are directed by men. These two women, pitted against one another by their fathers in the world, fight against the definitions that have been thrust on them for decades of storytelling. H is for Caroline's Heart by Austin Chant. Roy is a cowboy trying to lie low. 
Cecily is a witch mourning her truest love. When a life or death situation arises, Cecily must decide if she's willing to save Roy, a man she's only just met, and sacrifice the heart of her beloved. I is for Nevada by Imogen Binney. Maria has been living in New York for some time, constantly trying to figure out how a lesbian trans woman gets to fit into any community. When she is dumped by her girlfriend and fired all on the same day, she decides that she needs to set out on a road trip to work out some of those answers for herself. J is for Juliet Takes a Breath by Gabby Rivera. Juliet doesn't understand how her identity works. She's a chubby Puerto Rican from the Bronx, she's also a lesbian, and maybe a feminist, but she doesn't understand how feminism can fit into her life when the word feels so restrictive, when it feels so white. K stands for Let's Talk About Love by Claire Kahn. After being dumped by her girlfriend for being asexual, Alice decides to spend the summer after her freshman year totally devoid of relationships. Until her new co-worker Takumi turns out to be the cutest and funniest person ever and Alice has to decide if she's willing to put her heart at risk again. L is for Long Macchiatos and Monsters by Allison Evans. Jalen spends a fair amount of time at their coffee shop trying to figure out how much they really want to go to their next uni class. When they happen to meet P, the two of them fall fast and bond over their family, their frustrations, and terrible sci-fi movies. M stands for All Out, edited by Sandra Mitchell. Queer stories from history are often erased and denied importance. In All Out, queer teens take center stage across hundreds of years of history, falling in love and out of love, figuring out their identities, and, generally speaking, just living their queer lives. N stands for Noteworthy by Riley Redgate. Jordan doesn't really know how to convince her parents to continue allowing her to attend the prestigious performing arts school she attends. Her family barely has enough money as it is, and her alto voice isn't getting the musical parts she wants, so things are going to have to get drastic. We're talking disguising herself as a boy for a full semester to join the all-male acapella group drastic. O is for Of Fire and Stars by Audrey Colthurst. Perfect for all the queer girls who loved Disney movies growing up, but always wanted a story where the princess falls for a girl instead. This also has forbidden magic and fabulous castle intrigue, but mostly it is just horses and two princesses falling for one another. P is for Power and Magic, the Queer Witch Comics Anthology, edited by Jomette Jill. If you like witches, especially queer witches, then this is the comic collection for you. It is a wide variety of stories about queer people of color and the magic that is part of all of their lives. The stories cover a wide range of topics and themes, from light romance to the struggles of depression, and all are drawn with the utmost love and care. Q is for Queens of Geek by Jen Wilde. When Charlie, vlogger and actress extraordinaire, finally makes it big, it also means that her and her two best friends get the chance to attend their first ever Supacon. While Taylor gets wrapped up in fandom and her crush on their friend Jamie, Charlie falls headfirst into a romance with another mega-famous vlogger, Alyssa. R stands for Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. University seems like a foregone conclusion to Frances and everyone else she's at school with. It seems like she is only ever going to be defined by how well she does in her classes. But her other passion is drawing, especially for her favorite podcast. So when the creator of the podcast reaches out to her and asks her to do official art, Frances can't help but say yes. In the meantime, she also becomes best friends with the boy who lives across the street. S is for Every Hearted Doorway by Seanan McGuire. What happens when you fall out of the magical world you stumbled into, if you found your perfect world and it spat you back out again? In this series, it means going to Eleanor West's home for wayward children and trying to find a new normal while constantly longing for your door to make a reappearance. 
T stands for Two Boys Kissing by David Levithan. Based on a true story, Two Boys Kissing follows Henry and Craig who are attempting to kiss for 32 hours straight to break the Guinness World Record for longest kiss. Their story is narrated by a Greek chorus of the generation of gay men lost to AIDS. They also become the focal point in the lives of many other queer boys around the world. U stands for Jane Unlimited by Kristen Kishore. After Jane's beloved aunt passes away and she drops out of college, she's unsure where life is going to lead her, until a girl from her past makes a sudden reappearance and invites Jane to spend the weekend with her at her family's mansion. At the mansion, surrounded by a large variety of eccentric characters, Jane is led to make a choice that will drastically alter her life and the lives of everyone around her. V is for Goldie Vance by Hope Larson and Brittany Williams. Goldie's truest desire is to become a detective. Specifically, she wants to start working as the detective for the hotel her father currently works at. That seems increasingly unlikely until she is pulled into a mystery that is too big for any one person to solve. W stands for We Are The Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. Henry has had a rough year. His boyfriend killed himself. His grandmother is forgetting more and more every day. Oh, and he's also being regularly abducted by aliens who have informed him that he holds the power to decide if the world is going to be destroyed or not. X stands for Axiom The Last Hope by Rachel Marie Piercy. After the world nearly destroys itself, the remainder of the human race picks up and moves to the world of Axiom, where things are easy because all your decisions are made for you. Ella is in her last year of schooling until she finds herself falling for her roommate Carly, and they begin to discover the truth about their world. Y is for Not Your Sidekick by C.B. Lee. Jess is the not-so-super-powered child of her town's most famous superheroes. Not living up to a legacy is difficult, but Jess is determined to make the best of her life, so she's thrilled when she gets a fantastic internship opportunity, until she discovers that she will actually be working for the town's supervillains, and, on top of it all, will be working alongside her longtime crush, Abby. And finally, Z stands for Check Please Hashtag Hockey by Ngozi Ukazu. Starting out his freshman year at Samuel University, Eric Biddle is excited but terrified. He is a vlogger, a baker, a southern sweetheart, an excellent figure skater, and now the newest member of his university's hockey team. The problem is his terror of checking. The other problem is his slowly forming crush on his team's brooding captain. Okay guys, that is it. That is my A to Z of Queer Lit. What did you think of this different format? I had fun trying something new, but it was also labor intensive. I feel like I've been working on this video for a hundred years. So if you liked it, please let me know down in the comments below. I hope you found some brand new books that you want to read and maybe remembered a few of your favorites. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye!